welcome back to my channel thank you again for stopping by it really means a lot to me that you come back to watch another one of my videos welcome if you are new here my name is jocelyn and in today's video i will be filming a pompous grass care tips everything you need to know about decorating with pompous grass so if you want to learn anything about the maintenance and care of pompous grass definitely stay tuned if you not are already definitely subscribe down below so you can stick around and see more Kobe and see more videos from me which will include of like vlog home decor lifestyle videos and all that sort and Kobe <laughs> all right without further ado let's get into the video okay so first things first is what is pompous grass pompous grass has become very very popular within like the last year or two or three in home decorating and you can find many different variations of pompous grass i will insert a clip or an image here of what pompous grass looks like it's basically a grass that you can find or a flower some call it that you can find on like highways the side of highways and wetlands where still water is you can find it like around beaches and things um and they're just like this really tall fluffy grass that you can find in a lot of places and they come in different variations as I mentioned. So I'm going to show you a few different variations that I have. It's funny because I'll tell you the stories of where I got them from. I have three different ones that I will show you. So the first one is going to look like this. So it's pretty small. It has a long stem but it's pretty tiny at the top. I got this one off of Etsy about a year ago. A little bit darker in color so more of a, a rust brown color. For this one I didn't need hairspray and we'll get into why you'll need hairspray but yeah so a little tiny one and dark color and Kobe is super interested <laughs> So for the second one, this is the second type of pompous grass that I've gotten. So this one I actually found on the side of a highway, believe it or not. And I'm telling you, if you ever just look out the window and you're driving on like a highway, you will probably see pompous grass on the side of it. And that's where I found this. This one is almost kind of similar to the one that I just showed you. A little bit more big, a little bit more fluffier, and still that color, but a little bit more gray. So it has like almost like these gray, white pieces to it fluffy pieces and still with a long stem now these were super long off the highway and i actually clipped them by hand off the highway and then when i got home i actually shortened them even more so that they look reasonable looking on the vase that i put it or in the vase that i put it in but these literally can get so high like eight to ten feet high it's insane they just never stop growing all right so the third one that i want to show you is by far my favorite this is probably what you think of when you see pompous grass in home decor nowadays it's this huge fluffy white big stem of bush and here she is so she is obviously so much different than the ones that i just showed you so much fluffier so much fluff so much lighter as well still has the big stem to it as well now i got that one off of amazon back when i got the first one that i showed you which was about a year a year and a half ago pompous grass was really hard to find so it was really hard to find like you couldn't get it anywhere you couldn't get it on amazon at all so i got it off of Etsy that's where you could get it and it was pretty expensive to get it now Amazon has pompous grass everywhere it's kind of crazy how like things evolve so I got the the white one off of Amazon and it came in a pack of three and they're amazing so those are the three types of pompous grass that I have all right so now that we've talked about the different kind of pompous grasses that are out there I do want to get into what to do when you receive your pompous grass so there is maintenance that goes into this grass or flower that you you should do when you first receive your pompous grass and I will tell you what it is so first things first is it is a dried out pretty much plant you don't need to put these in water they will survive and live on and just stand on its own without water honestly all you need is a vase or something to put it in if you're using it as a decorative accent and you should be good to go but the one thing that you should keep in mind when you are getting pompous grass is that to keep them so full and fluffy basically it just has a a lot of these little fussies that make the plant fluffy and they shed so so much like a lot and with the one that is the last so the white one that, that I showed you that was like super fluffy that might have been the, the worst shedding thing that I've ever experienced very scares off people but trust me I got a solution for you stay tuned so that you can hear that so when you're first bringing in your pompous grass you are going to set that, that baby outside and set it out in the sun for about a day or two so that it can fluff out so when you get it it's probably going to be pretty compact because it's coming in a box unless you got it outside then you don't really need to do it but if you ordered it you're going to need to set it outside
aside for about a day or two so that it could fluff out because the sun is really just gonna make that plant fluff and you know give it that look that everyone's looking for so once you've let it sit out for some time now you're ready to do one of the most important parts when you want to use this as a decor accent so you are gonna grab your handy dandy bottle of hairspray we're gonna insert a clip here on how I did this with my pompous grass so you're gonna want to do this outside again you are going to want to basically make sure that it's fluffed out and to your liking basically you're going to can of hairspray uh, it can be any hairspray it doesn't really have to be anything fancy it could be you know something very inexpensive that's out there you're gonna grab the stem and you're going to lightly shake it and hairspray that fluff until there is nothing shedding no more shed no more fuzzies coming out and then you should be good to go so you're seeing that in this clip right here basically I'm shaking it hair spraying it down and then by the end of it you'll see that everything's basically just secured together and it's not going to you know make a huge mess once you bring it inside so then once you've done that and you let it dry outside for a few hours you can bring it in and then pop it into your favorite race or a vase that you'd prefer it in and then you can enjoy your pompous grass and from there on you honestly don't need to do anything it will again live on its own stand on its own it's all good to go so that is basically pompous grass maintenance it's pretty easy an amazing decor accent if you're really trying to fill like a space or a corner i would highly suggest looking in the pompous grass that will conclude today's video if you have any more questions about pompous grass or any stitching questions that you may have definitely comment them down below and i will make sure to get back to you if you do decorate with pompous grass let me know as well i'd love to hear how you decorate with your pompous grass because girl loves pompous grass all right thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already definitely subscribe again and i will see you guys in the next one so tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do